We are here in conversation with Advocate Matthews Nedumbura. Sir, regarding the Mulaperiyar Dam, you have said that if there is a breach, it will be a disaster. And a disaster which will be blamed entirely on the Supreme Court. Why do you say that? Say, whether the, 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 whether the dam will collapse. And if the dam collapses, it will certainly lead to disaster. Whether the dam will collapse is something which I cannot give any opinion about. I am a lame person, I am a mere lawyer. But like the, the majority of the Kerala's, I also, till I read the Supreme Court judgment, I also believed that the dam is safe. And the, you know, the apprehension, the fear among the people probably is misplaced. But after reading the judgment, the judgment I was shocked. After reading the judgment, I, was, I'm, I realized how, how false the premise is that the dam is safe. And, and that too, a judgment of the Supreme Court, our judges certainly are very learned people, erudite. I never question their, uh, in, their, their competence, their uh, <coughs> infinite wisdom, nothing I'm questioning. But from the judgment which I read, it is unthinkable that the judges could have made such a, such a murder, such a folly. And the judgment of the Supreme Court, five-judge constitution of the Supreme Court, is just rendered by Justice, the Chief Justice, Justice Lada. I have a great adoration for him. Justice Lada's judgment, Justice Lada says, I am reading from paragraph 176 of the judgment of the Supreme Court in the state of Tamil Nadu versus state of Kerala. A judgment which was rendered by the Supreme Court in the year 2014. And the citation is 2014. 12 SEC 296. Paragraph 176. I am reading. The principles of Rashidiketa are clearly attracted in the present case. The claim of Kerala in the earlier proceedings that the water level cannot be raised from the present level of 136 feet was especially not accepted, and the obstruction by the Kerala to the water level in the Mullapadiya Dam being raised to 142 feet on the ground of the safety of the safety was found untenable. The judgment dated 27-2-2006 of this court thus operate as a restudicator in respect of the issue of the safety of the dam by increasing its water level from 162 feet, 136 feet to 142 feet. The court said we the, in 2006 held that the dam is safe and therefore that decision on the safety of the dam operate as a residicator. The common people may not know what is the meaning of the residicator. The doctrine of residicator means a judicial decision on facts is final and binding between the parties. As even in the case between A and B, the court held that 1 plus 1 is 0. And that being a judicial decision rendered after hearing the parties before it and the court being a court of competent jurisdiction. Right or wrong, that decision would be binding, no matter right or wrong. So 1 plus 1 is not, uh, cannot be 0, but the court said 1 plus 1 is 0. That decision is binding, that is residicata. So the principles of residicata will apply. Because 2006 the court held that the dam is safe, then in perpetuity, eternally, the dam will remain safe. That is the finding of the five judge constitution bench of the Supreme Court in Middlebury uh, case. And the court said, therefore, this issue cannot be reopened at all. Can you imagine of a greater folly than that? And it is, it is, it is shocking. The, uh, the judgment, not less than four pages, have been uh, uh, spent from, from paragraph 161 to paragraph yes, 183. All discussion about the doctrine of Rashidicata. So, therefore, Rashidicata and the, the doctrine of Rashidicata has no application. And again, the, for the doctrine of, for the doctrine of Rashidicata to apply, the cause of action should be the same. The dam is not a static entity. Every with a you know a minor earthquake, rain, flood, everything can change the scenario. And the, this is the greatest folly. 
of the 2014 judgment and because of that the Kerala government had to keep in, uh, in uh, they cannot proceed further with this uh, pro program to construct a new dam and now I have made, let me refer to the other judgment of 2006 Mullapariyar Environmental Protection Forum versus Union of India so in that case that was rendered by a th three judgment the court held that assume that the Mullapariya dam uh, collapses so even if it collapses the entire water will pass through the flow through the Mullap river Mullapariya 56 kilometers and will reach the Idiki dam and the Idiki dam can contain the overall flood water and I am reading from that. One sentence that we read from paragraph, pay, paragraph 30, page uh, 657 of the judgment. And lawyers can certainly refer to the judgment 2006, 3 SEC 643. And the court says, I am reading only one sentence. This also shows that assuming the worst happens, more than 11 TMC water would be taken by the Dikki Dam. Uh, a, a million people stays on both sides of the river uh, in the, uh, the uh, Periyar river and they will all be washed away and the and in case the, today in 2006 Idiki Dam was maybe uh, half full but the scenario today is different today the, far, the, in, uh, the in 2018 the shutters were to be open because of the, the uh, unprecedented rains and today, I'm, today is what, uh, in May, and today in Kerala, Cochin received a cloudburst, 100 centimeters of, sorry, 10 centimeters of rain today has happened, if something of the sort happens. So the principle is, see, the dam, you know, I am nobody to say the dam uh, may collapse, no. But the aspect of which I wanted to point out that, if the dam collapses, the, the floodwaters will not follow the dicta of the Supreme Court judgment. It will not flow exactly. It will not flow exactly through the Periyar River uh, to reach the Dikki Dam. It will follow the law of gravity. It will stay flow down and from a from a height of 2,200 feet down to the the foothills of the Western Ghats. The entire districts of Kottayam, Alappi, Ernakulam will be washed away. Imagine. The, the water in which case would be falling from a height of 800 meters. Remember the Niagara, Niagara, Niagara Dam has only 50 meters, 55 meters. Just imagine. So the dam may be safe. I am not saying it is not safe. But the, the, we need to think of the, the risk involved in case something happens. So the Supreme Court has to revisit its judgment and a new dam if necessary has to be built. Thank you.